Next up, we have Shock and Awe Extreme, or as I like to call it, Shock and Awe Shit. Because you'll be saying that a lot as you try to get three medals on it. If you thought the previous Shock and Awe level was a pain, this one turns it up to a whole other level. Alright, so in rounds 2 and up, in addition to having to worry about the timer and the small fighting space, you also have to worry about enemies jumping up to the right platform and unlocking the gun locker. Try your best to guard the platform by throwing a batarang out whenever you see an enemy make a run for it. If they do manage to get onto the platform, you're going to have to follow them and make sure they don't open the gun locker, even though it's a huge time suck. Once you relocate to the platform, just stay there and let the enemies come to you. Try not to cut as close as I just did. Note to self, need to order more henchmen. Good ones this time. and especially this last one, uh, it's extremely important to utilize your instant takedowns on the knife wielding enemies, otherwise they take too long to bring down and will eat up too much of your precious time. This is gonna stop. <laughs> Fighting. I've had everyone you love brutally murdered. <laughs>